This is a nine stage battle between Sauron Ancients and Orcing Goblins. It's a marching column and breakthrough objective. The Orcing Goblins deployed from this side, the Sauron Ancient the opposite, and the Sauron Ancient go first. They have a lot of magic missiles, skinks and croxigors. Uh, and they're being placed on the movement trace as they start deployment because of tank threats. The Sauron ancients tried to get off some missiles, but they couldn't see the trolls. So the giant took a hit, but it didn't wound. Sauron ancients moving upwards, moving some croxigors behind the impassable terrain to meet the Orkin Goblins. Now it's Orkin Goblins, turn one. The missile which got through killed four wolf riders right here. And they killed an eighth rerollable leadership and fled off the table. That got through. Orkin Goblins move up, their cavalry on the flank, scrap wagons, the river trolls fail stupidity and just bumble forwards. The trolls hide behind the hill, from the missiles, Bewitching Glare is cast on these skinks and croxigors, so they're shaken with the general. That's the general, right? No, he's not the general. He's the... Uh, he is my uh, footlord. He's my jaguar. The jaguar Soros hero. He's the jaguar Soros hero. Yes. This is my uh, general. And there is the general. Yes, he's the toad. He's the general. It's because uh, my Jaguar has a tendency to just run off into things. While the I Toad, see. he likes to just keep everything in control. So, he is... Uh, I like him better, but he is the better general. Exactly. The Soros Ancient cast some missiles on the BSB. Despite his tuck text guards and five toughness, <laughs> he gets some through but no wounds. He loses one wound from the alchemy missile called from the uh, from the Soren Ancient's hereditary spell. The hereditary spell. A spark of life. No life. No life. Oh life. Oh life. The Orkin Goblin keep moving forwards. They have a myriad of hordes on the flank, not technically hordes, but the stone trolls are behind the hill, the river trolls move up, they tempt a charge from the the leopard hero, or what the Soros was? The jaguar hero. Jaguar hero? But then they cast the hereditary spell, bring the pain. The wizard cast it on this unit. So it seems like they're not charging, the player says. Here we have the giant and the general. The BSB hides behind the hill from the missiles. Is he able to hide still? He's hiding behind the trolls as well. <laughs> now we're at Soren Ancient turn 3. Flammable. The Goblin King is now flammable as an attribute from the spells, but not many spells go through, just one wound on the general on Gargantula. There's not much movement from the Saurus behind the impassable, they're pushing the center here. Now let's see what happens. Uh, the Orkin Goblins move forwards. They have no charges, except the River Trolls, who failed the charge. They managed to redirect, but both units fled. A unit of Croxigors and a unit of Croxigors and Skinks fled. The Giant goes up to Chef, and now in turn 4, the Soren Ancient charge him. These are shaken from the Witching Glare. The Croxigors charge the big bus. No, no, not the Croxigors. Only the Lord. The Lord alone charges. And these Temple Guards charge the giant. In turn 4, the 
Jaguar hero gets in. The Croxy Gorge move up behind. These Croxy Gorge have a failed charge against the Wolf Riders who fled all across there. So they're outside of the BSB and the General's leadership. They might not rally before they run off the table. And how things are happening here in round four. The two combat armies clash. The ball boys still stand against the Jaguar. Right, I try to ignore it. I try to ignore it. Scrapper gets into the Croxigo, killing one. The other one doesn't reach it. The two squig heroes tailor charge against fleeing Croxigors, who now rally again. Now, the skink unit here charged the giant, which fled. Then the temple guard charges and it fled off the table. <coughs> the temple guards redirected into the trolls. And this is round five for the Sauron Ancients. Is that some fed charges? Phantom. The wolf riders rallied actually. The Goblin King has five wounds left after a lot of missiles. It's been lucky though. There have been a lot of missiles this way. The temple yeah, 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 yeah. Right. You're them flammable. And the trolls are made flammable. Yeah. As an attribute from Alchem. <laughs> and I have the flaming banner. I have the charge. I have strength sticks. I have 1 plus armor save and 5 plus regen. I'm going to smack the fuck out of them. The ball boys finally lose against the Jaguar hero. There are 9 left and they flee. So they're fleeing. The scrap wagon has one wound left against the Croxy Gorge, which turned to face him. The Temple Guards win against the Trolls, doing 21 wounds, three more than they have. So they reform to turn this way. They'll have one charging face left. And now it's Orkin Goblin turn five. Bottom of turn five. From the final battle, the Temple Guards win by six. The Stone Trolls stand on a double one. So they still stand in the battle, but everything else flees. The Battle Standard Bearer, the two remaining Savage Orcs, after 13 died, being slaughtered by the Temple Guards. The King flees. So they took uh, an impossible charge into an impossible foe at that point, but they were brave. They were brave. They were. They were brave. The Croxy Gorge and Skink take the objective. On the other side of the battle, the Leopard uh, Soros Hero is charged in the flank and loses a wound with his stance on leadership. The Croxy Gorge are slaughtered by a charge from a Squig Hero. And a squig hero kills a couple of other Soruses out blank, and the last and the a skink hero over here kills a couple of Croxigors. The last one flees, and he catches it. But we've we've started moving around the units of these. A couple of these are dead, and uh, this is what remained of the battle. And fleeing units here. This was rallied, but couldn't do anything. This was fleeing, and we ended in round 5. 17-3 for the Soros Warriors. With the mighty central block, which was quite unfeasible for the trolls to take on. With flaming attack, strength 6, 2 attacks each, 1 plus armor save. 5 plus region. 5 plus region. <laughs>